Hey everyone, this is Alex USA Days and today we're starting Playwright for QA Automation. Today we're going to talk about why Playwright, how to do environment setup and the, the goals for this course. So this course is going to be unique in a way that we don't have a roadmap that we're going to follow through, but we will build a roadmap together as we go through the course. So if you have any ideas, any suggestions, any topic that you're interested in, feel free to add them in the comments. And as I build the course, I'm going to add the videos about the topics for the Playwright automation that you're going to provide. Playwright is rapidly growing in popularity with a strong community, extensive documentation, and continuous updates ensuring it stays relevant for modern web testing. Playwright is very easy to set up. Simple setup process enables testers to quickly begin writing and executing tests. Playwright supports cross-browser testing out of the box. That allows for writing tests once and running them across all modern browsers. Playwright supports parallel test execution out of the box, so reduces testing time by running tests in parallel. Playwright does automated media capture, so automatically captures screenshots and videos for easier debugging. Playwright has Reach API, provides a comprehensive API to automate complex user interactions. Playwright also supports API testing. Playwright has built-in reporting, so Playwright provides built-in tools for generating test reports. A Playwright supports automated script creation out of the box. So CodeGen records browser actions like clicks, navigation, inputs, even assertions, and generates corresponding Playwright scripts, reducing the efforts needed to write test cases. Playwright supports asynchronous testing. So Playwright handles the dynamic nature of modern web browsing by running tests that adapt to asynchronous events like loading or data fetching. The goal of this course is to equip you with the skills required to build Playwright framework and effectively use Playwright documentation to identify the right solutions for your needs. By the end of this course, you'll be able to automate your products using online resources as your guide. This will not only enhance your testing efficiency, but also empower you to deliver high quality software more quickly and with confidence. So to get started with the Playwright, we will need to install IDE integrated development environment. For IDE, we will use uh, VS Code and we will need to install Node.js. Playwright installation will be done once we will go through steps one and two. You'll have to create a folder where you want to run your Playwright and then just run command npm init Playwright at latest. I will show you everything in the VS Code after the installation process right now. Okay, so in order to get started, let's open a web browser and first we want to type in Node.js. So as we type in Node.js, we'll have a Node.js.org web page available. Let's go to the download section. Over here, it will ask you uh, which installation you would like to do. So just do LTS, recommended for most users, and then select your system. If you're using Mac, select Mac. If you're using Windows, select Windows. All right, the download is happening. Download is complete. Uh, let's go to the folder and let's double click it. Okay, welcome to Node Setup. Accept the license agreement. Uh, default pass is fine, just hit next. Add to pass is selected, everything here is okay. Let's hit next. It's asking automatically install the necessary tools. I'm gonna check mark that. It might ask you a couple times during the installation process, the system, if you're okay in uh, certain parts of the installation, just agree to everything and it should install it on your system. Okay, so installation is now complete. Let's go ahead back to the browser and search for Visual Studio Code. And here we have the download link. So let's go ahead, download it and install it. Again, select your system. Download started. Let's show it in the folder and let's install it. Okay, so we want to accept the agreement, hit next. Uh, the default location is fine. Yes. Uh, let's create a desktop icon, add to pass, yes, uh, register code as an editor, yes, you don't have to select anything else, so this is good, let's hit next, and let's hit install. 
All right, once the installation is done, what you want to do, you want to open a folder and you want to go to the folder where you will be creating the whole project. So I create a folder, learn playwright. So I'm gonna go ahead and select this folder and it should open. It might have a pop-up if you trust the uh, authors, just hit yes. And uh, let's check on our node installation. At the bottom here, click on the exclamation mark in the triangle to bring up the console. Uh, let's go to the terminal here. And you can see I am inside the playwright. This is the whole pass, the directory. Uh, and first thing, let's do node dash dash uh, version. Okay, and we see the version coming up. So node was successfully installed. Now let's go ahead and install uh, Playwright in this folder. So npm init uh, Playwright at latest. All right, so type it out. Make sure that you are inside the folder. So you want to see your project here, project folder, and then let's start it. Okay, so it's asking us, some of the things that we want uh, to get our project going. So TypeScript or, or JavaScript, we're gonna go with JavaScript. Uh, where do we want to have our end-to-end -end tests? Which folder? It asks tests by default. Yes, agree to that. Uh, are we gonna add GitHub Actions? Not right now, so we can say false. Install Playwright browsers. You want to do that? We want to support browsers. Yes, true and it initialized the npm project so the uh, file is created right here the config file let's go to uh, tests folder and see examples that spec so there are two tests that's going to be run here one goes to the playwright.dev and checks that the page has title playwright right here the second test goes to uh, playwright.dev, then clicks on the get started link, and then verifies that there is installation name in the heading and it is visible. Okay, so two tests. Next, we can go to the playwright config. So this is all the configuration, all of the tests that uh, we want to run. We have a bunch of browsers right now configured to run out of the box. So WebKit, which is Safari, Firefox, and Chromium. Let's highlight uh, Firefox and WebKit. So in my case, from line 49 to line 41, and press um, Control backslash to comment it out. Okay, uh, make sure that you have auto safe in the file. So click file and there's auto save option and it checked. So every time you make a change, it will save uh, your work in progress. Now let's go and run it in a headed mode. Actually, one more thing before we run it, go into example.spec.js and let's do await page.pause uh, with parentheses at the end. So at the end of this test case has title and let's do the same thing here. So add await page pause right here. So at the end of the execution, it will get paused uh, and we want to make sure that we see what's actually happening on the screen, right? Okay, now we can say npx playwright test dash dash headed so in the console in the terminal make sure you are in the playwright uh, directory where everything is installed type in command npx playwright test dash dash headed and press enter okay so we see two tests are running and they're started uh, in parallel so here is one and then here is another window and you see there's an inspector popping up uh, this is where our pause is and it kind of shows you everything's happening right now so we, this page got verified that it has the title this page got verified that there is installation present in the heading and it's visible so if i'll click continue resume right here this little arrow uh, it will complete the test 
So it's closed the window. Same thing here in the Playwright Inspector. I'm going to click Resume, this little arrow, and it's also going to close this window. All right, perfect. So two tests passed. Uh, and there is a reporter that we can view. So to open the reporter, we need to issue this command, npx playwright show report. Let's highlight it. Control C to copy. Uh, go to the console. Control V to paste. And let's run it. Okay, here's our reporter. So let's take a look. And it shows us that we ran example spec.js file. Uh, in that file, we had a test, has title, and it passed. You can see the, all the steps here, one by one. And here's the second test, get started link, all the steps here, one by one, and it also passed. All passed, zero failed, there was no flaky, nothing skipped, perfect. Okay, that's it, that's how we get started. And uh, we'll continue in the next video. Thanks everyone for watching. This was Alex USA Days and bye-bye.